Hey guys, it's me Zane and today we're gonna repot and well also save a Easter cactus or Christmas cactus, I'm not sure which one is that, but it's called I think it's called Ripsolidopsis in a botanical language, so that's what we're gonna do today. Oh. Well, yeah, don't take my words like an expert words because this is the first time I'm gonna rip out the Ripsolidopsis, but you know, I know a thing or two, so Let's follow me. Okay guys, so this is the Christmas cactus that we're gonna work with today. Yeah, it's pretty sad looking and pretty dried out and everything, but right now I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna repot it into a more suitable soil and also I'm gonna try to save it. So first I'm gonna remove this stake with this thingy. Okay, the weather is pretty windy, so I hope you can hear me. Okay, this is removed is removed. Oh, this is a pretty cute steak, look at it. It's a Chinese eating stick. I don't know if that's a proper name, but I think it is. Oh my god. This... Is this spoiling it? I don't think so. So I'm gonna loosen the soil and the root ball up, but it's going pretty hard. Oh my god. Look at it. I push the knife in and I can lift it up. Mmm, the soil is so good. <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh my god, this is hard. Ugh. And I don't want to ruin the plant because it's pretty old and it's majestic or it's actually gonna be majestic if I manage to save it. And it's really not coming out of the pot. I'm curious how I'm gonna actually remove it from the pot. Okay, something's happening. Okay, the pot or the soil is actually coming out. That's good. Now, okay, I'm not gonna film it, but I'm gonna remove the old soil. Not all of them, but a lot, because this soil is bad. Okay, so here I am. This is the root ball, which is pretty good, I think. And also I washed the foliage a little bit off, so it won't be that much dust on it and stuff like that. Okay, it doesn't even fit into the frame. It's majestic. Oh my god. I can't wait for it to be repotted and to be majestically beautiful. I don't know where to put my cactus because I don't. Want, I want to work with my pot and maybe this is good. Okay, so here is the clay pot which I'm gonna use for the repotting, and there is this hole on the bottom. I'm just placing a piece of the clay on the bottom, and here I have my soil which I mixed already. There is regular soil in it and cactus soil in it and. Uh, small rocks and perlite and stuff like that. There is regular soil in it also because this plant needs a little bit more that was my messenger. A little bit more moisture than regular succulents which live in the desert. So this is the mix I'm gonna use today. So at first I'm gonna place a layer of soil on the bottom. Actually it's gonna be a pretty thick layer because the root system is not that majestic. <sighs> Okay, that's I think enough. And right now the only thing I'm not sure about is that if I place my cactus like this, so this part is staying up, this is the natural way, so I should place it like this, or I should already placing it like leaning, so it can lean out, because it's a leaning plant, so I'm not sure about <laughs> I'm not sure what to do. Help me, please! Please someone send me help! Oh my god, what to do now? What to do now? Well, okay, when I'm in doubt, I do the thing which is most logical to me. And right now the most logical to me is that I don't place it like this, standing up. I don't place it like this, like leaning. I will position it like between the two. It's the same logic. Yeah. And right now, when my plant is already positioned, I'm just filling up the pot with soil. Ah, oh, the soil is going everywhere. Why? 
and again I'm gonna use the technique what I like to do sometimes I'm placing first I'm positioning the plant a little bit deeper in the pot so after I poured some soil into the pot I can push it up just a little bit so the soil will go around the roots and I can position it better I can position the plant better so that's what I'm trying to do but don't push it don't pull it too much out because then you can start over the thing again and you don't want that right okay my repot is ready but the plant is pretty much wobbly in it honestly I don't like steaks so the thing what I'm gonna do right now is that I'm gonna place a bigger rock or a pebble here on this side so it will hold the plant on its place the plant won't fall out hopefully and that's what I'm gonna do so right now Zane will go on a search for a bigger rock now how to stabilize my plant okay plant please don't fall out okay I'm gonna be right back with a rock okay so here is the rock that I'm gonna use or a pebble huge pebble small rock I'm not sure what is the word for that <laughs> okay maybe it's too big it's actually too big or not no it's it's okay it's okay I think it is oh my god this is heavy and right now I think since I left a little bit open space here and I did not fill the pot completely up to this point for watering purposes maybe I'm gonna use maybe I'm gonna place some more rocks on the top so it won't look stupid that there is one single rock there and also I'm gonna make a layer of small pebbles and smaller rock things so it will have a better drainage on the top layer and I won't rot the plant okay so here are my rocks and pebbles and I'm gonna place them here like this so it's aesthetically pleasing and also a top layer of rocks also it's good for decoration you know because it makes it look more I don't know cactusy dessertish although it's not a dessert plant but I think it turned out to be nice Am I right? So yeah, this is my repotting and saving video for this one. Now I'm gonna water it so it can hydrate itself again and it won't be this wrinkly and stuff. And after it I'm gonna try to care for it the best as I can and I will be hoping a serious boom display next year. Yeah, I know I, I could have done this before I placing this layer but here I have this something slow release fertilizer fertilizerish thingy so I'm gonna place a few pieces of this one but only just but just a few I hope they will sink to the bottom or actually <laughs> I, I hope they will sink below the top layer but this is just a few pieces I'm gonna use fertilizer as well so now watering and I'm placing back this on its place and it will look fabulous okay guys so I repotted this ripsaldopsis or what and here's it I think it looks really cool and really beautiful and I like how all the pendant leaves are oopsie I like this oh it's bad I like these pendant leaves, I think it's really beautiful and I cannot wait for next year's show of lovers. Ah, this, this should be beautiful next year. So yeah, this is my video for today and I hope you liked it. If you like, if you liked it, click on the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to this channel, subscribe to my other channel, and follow me on Instagram. You will find all the links, you will find, <laughs> you will find all the links down in the info box. So see you next time. Bye guys.